So I, I did over the past two years, I have done a lot of work getting ready to be able to just play any game at the drop of a hat, <laughs> yeah. including um, the the PS2, the original Xbox, the and the the Wii slash GameCube. All of those, I got just about every game I'd ever want to play on them, uh, just like on a hard drive or something. And also on the NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, and the 64, I got flashcards with every ROM known to man on all, on all those. Uh, because 2020 was a lonely year for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 2020 was fucking hell. <laughs> that yeah. Was the worst year <laughs> of that's, my life, probably. Yeah. That's like yeah, that's like permanent limbo for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I, it was worse. It was way worse for me because I yeah, it was. got bed bugs. Oh I god! Fuck. Yeah, it it was. It was just one fucking stupid thing after another. Yeah. So, hey, part, damn. So, I I just kind of want to toot my own horn quick about all the uh, all the work I did to make basement quality really easy to do in the future. Um. And then just not do basement quality for like a year. But <laughs> I, so I organized and renamed every ROM on the NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and the Genesis on flashcards and organized them alphabetically in separate folders so I can easily find them. Uh, I got the modded Wii uh, modded with a hard drive so that we can... Uh, Play any Wii or GameCube game on it. Uh, did the same thing with the PS2 with both PS1 and PS2 ROMs. Uh, got a got a terabyte hard drive in the original Xbox and have all the games on that. And um, no, I I mean I did do a batch job for some of it, but like I like did it in a way that was readable. <clears throat> um, I also, also with the PS2 ROMs, that is such a fucking painstaking process. Um, I, I curated a shit ton of DOS games and I got those all set up to, with the proper settings to where they'll run right. So I have a bunch of DOS games ready to go. I also, back in 2020, got the, uh, um, how do you say the uh, the itch.io bundle? Oh yeah, uh, that had like every game under the sun in it. Oh, and uh, I got all of those <laughs> installed, and and look look at how look at how nice that looks. Yeah, oh, that's can, a thing of beauty. I can just play any of those games. Have I played one of them yet? <laughs> no, it's not. Could well, I play them at any time? Yes. The more games you get, the less you want to play them. That is what I've been finding. Yeah. <laughs> I just keep defaulting to randomizer. Just like, well, I mean, there's so many games, and I could make a decision. But there's just such a C that I can't just pick one. Yeah. It's like sensory overload, basically. It's just like, yeah. it's just like a human. Is this a human reaction? Is this because like it's like you just are your brain isn't made to, like to make a decision out of that many fucking like different things. Like it's yeah. Just not, it's that's, not built for that shit. Like, that's why restaurants... If any amount of things that's more than, like, I don't know, like, 20 or 40 <laughs> things, you're just going to be like, I don't know, that's just a bunch of bees. I mean, I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Norm says it's like a little library of Alexandria. Let's burn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we want to go back another that's, couple centuries. That, that's also why, like, restaurants only give you, like, so much on a menu. Yeah, because if they have too many choices, then you're just going to get fucking lost and not want to eat anything. Yeah, you're going to be like, I don't know, oh. can me eat some french fries? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, just play like random. So oh, oh, here's a game we should do. Unmetal. Yeah, it's a Metal Gear pa parody. Oh. Oh. Do you, uh, do you got Parsec? I don't have it on this computer yet. Okay. I'll probably get it. 
I've got balls of steel. <laughs> Sign up. Metal Gear, steel. but a joke. Metal but Gear, not but... like just Metal Gear. <laughs> but not regular Metal Gear 4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Metal Gear, but a joke. But not just Metal Gear. <laughs> this one's like actually way too quiet. Whoa, that's... What's going on? Yee! 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 I can't, I can't not, I have to do it back. <laughs> Yee! It's, it's just an automatic reflex, I can't, I can't stop. Well, you're solid. Ooh, the clap of my dummy thick ass cheeks. You know what else is dummy cheeks, thick ass cheeks? Dummy thick? Nah. Yes, Snake! <laughs> dummy thick! It is what yes. millennials and Gen Z are referring to a large posterior. <laughs> God damn it, your cheeks aren't that thick! Stop explaining everything to me all the time, Vincent. I'm not stupid. <laughs> You're not stupid! <laughs> if you don't figure out this fucking sneaking mission, you're fired! <laughs> We're scouts, he'll do it better! Right, uh, you I said I won't do it better, just get out of the way! What are you saying? You, you all set? Yeah, I'm set. Sweet. Fuck it. I know I'm not good enough for medium. Hard. Pick hard. <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess we're going flash at them. The aircraft was intercepted and shot down. As the pilot emerged from the wreckage, he was arrested by the same bastards who shot him down, and later was brought to a military base for interrogation. <laughs> Jesse Fox. You don't seem to be Russian. Russian? Me? You were piloting a Russian aircraft two hours ago. I also drive a Toyota, and I'm not Japanese. All right, Mr. Fox. Before arresting you, I'm obligated to write down a report with your version of the facts. So tell us what the hell you were doing in that heavily armed Soviet helicopter. It's a long story. Sergeant, bring us some coffee. Yes, sir. Wachowski, bring the lieutenant some coffee. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Fox, we have plenty of time. Explain what happened. In 1972, a crack <laughs> commando unit threw me in a prison. Uh, they were crime dropping crack into some neighborhoods. You're under arrest for a crime you didn't commit. <laughs> that <laughs> from a maximum security Why didn't he yell that? To the underground, trying to survive. <laughs> we are soldiers framing you. So they just copied the A-Team intro? Yeah. Fantastic. I don't even have the A-Team text. Let's start from the beginning. How did you escape from that cell? Piece of cake. I filled my butthole up with spaghetti. A note. A note. <laughs> Where'd you get the paper from? I used toilet paper. My ass. I see. And how did you find a pen? A pen? I used I my pee hole. a grimy cell, not in an office. I wrote the note with a rusty wire, using my own blood as ink. When I ran out of the blood, I used urine as a substitute. And then I found out I could have been using shit the whole time. And I was like, fuck! I actually see any TP here. Nah. Oh, okay, zero out of time then. No TP. So I punch the wall. And bleed is what I oh assume. Oh yeah. Fire. I can use this to make a Right. Pen. Punch the toilet. <laughs> oh. Hey, there it is. That's where it comes from. Oh, uh, okay. Who flushed the whole roll? <laughs> That's where it comes from. You can't do what do you that. think it's called? Do you think it's called <laughs> toilet paper because you use it when you're on the toilet? No, it's because that's where it comes from. <laughs> now you know. Sopping well. It wasn't easy. Wads of toilet paper. The toilet paper tore under the pressure of the bloody wire. Those bastards gave us cheap paper. One ply, unscented, and unpatterned. 
Why did Fucking you barbaric. Why not grab the paper? That's against the Geneva <laughs> Convention. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta let me wipe my fucking ass, man. Killed. And I wasn't going to be killed by some dirty toilet. Skibbity toilet. Skibbity nice. toilet. What you doing with the frickin' toilet? Think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Kill myself? <laughs> that key's too big. I have to put it in my ass. That way we'll need the toilet, which I broke. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll have to rip off Shawshank Redemption oh, now. Oh, you have to select the key. Oh, I, I didn't select the key. I selected something else. Yeah, the I see. I let the guard what a belief. Sorry. Uh, I threw away DSP the Metal Gear game over here. What about the noose? Yeah, what the gonna... hell? Where did I get the noose? Are you seriously asking me that? I am, Mr. Fox. I'll tell you later. I made a rope out of my own turds. <laughs> I ate a lot of bread, so it was nice and strong. Can you use your ass to heat the shape memory alloy, yeah. <laughs> that would have fucking, the funny thing is that would have worked. Heat the key. That yeah. would actually have worked if you just put it in his butt cheeks. It just has to be warm for an extended period of time. It would just I change. I found myself in a prison yard surrounded by some buildings. There were piles of boxes and other stuff here and there. <laughs> And the ground was plain dirt. Oh, and it was night. Thank God my fist is made out of steel. Well, unfortunately, these fences are made out of something stronger than steel. <laughs> Double steel. <laughs> Snake, those are double steel fences. You can't bite through them with your fist. Do what? Double steel? Double only, steel. The, the DARPA chief was was a big part in making double steel. It mm. was an American triumph. American triumph. Yes, America. It's a country that's pretty much fascist now, but it always <laughs> was. Okay, so how do I break the steel? You're gonna need a double fist, Snake. <laughs> double fist. Yes, it's like. Really cool. You should try it. I <laughs> thought everyone would be a You should try it. It's pretty awesome. It pretty rad. over my house. I was dead <laughs> wrong. I noticed the presence of... Two. Can you imagine Saw Snake's first time having sex? He just won't stop asking oh. you questions. I, I could have just made that easier for myself if I just recalled oh. the events differently. Like, so I was Snake's first time having sex. He's just like, like, all right, uh, take your dick out. And he's just like, my dick. Yeah, the reproductive organ between your legs. Mm, my legs? <laughs> <laughs> it just turns into that. <laughs> it's so dumb. Damn it. Oh, no. Well, well I got one. This kind of seems like it would be like how the remake of uh, Metal Gear 1 and 2 would be. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to if search this guy. It's not flashing. Ah, I see. Oh, a don't. Oh, it's a ring. Oh, oh man. It's a ring. Yeah, I thought it was a donut. Hey, that's... Uh, my first response was, ooh, ring thing. It's a donut. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yummy. Okay. If you're within that ring when he sneezes, you're gonna catch a cold. That's social yeah. distance. Yeah. Or does that or does he catch you if you're in that range? I That seems weird. Let's not find out. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you would be less alert when you're sneezing, so you'd be like you could just make as much noise as you want during that time. Why did you keep punching those crates? <laughs> what did you expect to happen? <laughs> in particular. Why this gratuitous violence? don't know. I suppose I got lost in the moment. <laughs> you know, for being imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. Cringy. 
Unlike that time I got prison for war crimes, so I definitely committed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know All what right. it's like to be in prison for things I actually did, and that's when I didn't. Slappy slaps. Slappity dick. Slappity dick. Uh oh. Slappity, slappity, slappity dick. Punch him in the back of the head. Yeah. Yeah, my muscles in my arm will get weak. Yeah. <laughs> Are these guys about to get married? What's these rings for? Found a ring up in there last night. <laughs> Drop the pants. Wait, wait, wait! You punched a guy who was pissing, and a ring popped out. Does that mean it's a uh -huh. a cock ring? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the God, I hope it's a Garfield lasagna scented one. <laughs> <laughs> With extra cheese. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Do do. Oh. So cool. The guy who goes in the bathroom and just breaks all the fucking toilets in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> and now I know who that trucker is. Uh, well, I want to guard, <laughs> guard him. Pause. I can play the sound if you want. I won't do it unless you want me to. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Me. Affirmative. <laughs> My name is Colonel Alan Harris, Fifth Battalion. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> then tell me, Fox, what the hell are you doing here? I've been jailed for a crime I didn't commit. Do you know how to get out of here? Try to escape through any sewer. There must be one nearby. Bruh. Because it stinks when it's hot. Once outside, move along at nighttime and sleep during the day. What about you, Colonel? I've been tortured. My legs won't make it. But if you bring me a radio, I can help you escape. Hold on, Harris. Are you sure you heard him say Alan Harris? Yes, sir. Saw him yesterday. Look, Mr. Fox, Colonel Harris died a month ago in an ambush. Well, it's the name that stubborn old man gave me. I see. I'll write down on the report that you talked to Colonel Harris after his death. Continue your story. As I was saying, I searched for a radio to bring him. Uh oh, the, the truck contained some filthy cloth scraps. <laughs> the truck have it started to handy move. The truck have started to move. Wounded. Bad news. <laughs> Dirty cloth rags don't heal you. They just stop the bleeding, and I ain't got time to bleed. Good <laughs> news. I could reuse these rags as much as I wanted. Good dirty cloth is hard to come by. <laughs> That's true. Under some crates, I found my salvation. A sewer hole. There was no Yum way. yum. Snickety snacks. <laughs> I need to find a ladder or rope if I wanted to go down. Okay. Is there a way to pull and not push? Does punching Punching pushes it. Oh. oh. Have you tried heating the box? I have not. In between your ass cheeks. Cooling the box. Can I just rub your ass on every surface? Go to put on cider ass and fart and see if that uh, makes it warmer. <laughs> Can you? you what I said? Clip the game we were playing the other night. And it was just like, I'll make it warmer in here. Yeah. Just, just fart noises. <laughs> Darn tootin'. <laughs> that came with you. They're like, I have shirt cancer. <laughs> what? You didn't, though. Fuck you. I took a coin off the guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect there's no shops open for an escapee on a midnight run. Who said anything about spending? I used it to distract soldiers. I quickly found out that guards love picking up free coins. That is true. Around. I found that to be very true. Yeah. Yeah, whenever I'm guarding, I can't help a really yummy looking coin on the ground. Just like put that right in my belly button. Can you, if you squeeze against the wall up there, can you slide behind the boxes? Yeah, can you slide all? I haven't been able to. So this just happens when I'm near. Oh, it. when you, okay. And when, uh, when I move it. Go into that animation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That is farts. Mm. Can you punch like a wall or something to lead him out and hide somewhere? Hey, a coin. 
I picked up the guard's radio. There we go. Encryption. I knew other guards could listen in on my conversations with Harris. I see. You still haven't told me how you got that news. I'll tell you later. As I was saying, I needed to find a special encryption circuit to install in the radio. Ah, yep. Gotta get the special hardware for the encryption. Yep. I drew a whole bunch of little funny pictures all over their computer. Some of them were shaped as dicks, and other ones were shaped as penises. Can you punch those? <laughs> dicks and a penis -us -us. I had the circuit. <laughs> oh. I just had to <laughs> attach it to the radio. There's a difference, you see. <laughs> With the go tight radio, I could speak to Harris with no one listening. That was odd. <laughs> just had to bring it. You told it to Pornhub.com. And the news? Type in penis. Us us. <laughs> and a penis. <laughs> I'll use the rope in my stomach. <laughs> just, oh, like, what do like, I? Fucking like, like, like infinite napkin like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you use your guts, Larry? <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm not at, I'm not at yet. Oh, all is what happens. I've modified it to just like that movie. Just like that movie, Ricky. O. <laughs> Sorry, Ricky. <laughs> not yet. I'll call you through channel one as soon as I find another. Good luck, son. And Godspeed. Obtain a encrypted radio. Time to do it again. <laughs> Let's just see if I can break another computer and get another chip. There were three computers here, right? Yeah. Computers, too many computers. That's a computer. Hey, right, get another one. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm more amused that he has to do it than. <laughs> 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 I love how this... a lot now. <laughs> well, Please. I, love how this... I have a family. <laughs> You'll be stuck here forever. <laughs> <laughs> no! Come on! Oh no! That guy, that guy didn't see you. This is a pretty good approximation of the Metal Gear. Yeah. Your cot music. I, I feel like that was not in my favor. Oh, it wasn't. I, uh... Oh. Me and the developer of Unmetal will have some words. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay, sweet. Okay. Wait, what just happened? I, I got a I got two depleted uranium balls. Oh, okay. <laughs> just fucking like what? what? Oh, what? Oh yeah. We are... Oh, weapons. Tough. That's a metal. weapon that I got. <laughs> wow. Oh wow. Oh mm. come on. Oh, don't forget to search the guy. He might have the red yo. What a story, indeed. <laughs> what a story, Mark. You... Oh, yes. Hey, of course. It's my lucky Get his ass. <laughs> you stole a one-eyed man's patch? Yeah. A one-eyed man that would shoot me without hesitation. Because it was his job. <laughs> Damn, how much louder than I thought Jeez. it would be. Well, that has to be handy to create a lethal weapon. Gotta look like Big Boss. Ah, a few more depleted uranium balls. Good. Get our 